break I'm looking for it. Get behind me, pull out every star. I want a happy ending. You're tired of pretending. Next, we do our jumping jacks. Ready? Back straight, hands at our side, feet together, and one, two, 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 a standing jack now. Yeah, honey, that's the same as sitting jack, but I do them standing up. <laughs> all right, all right. Next, we'll touch our toes. Ready? Oh, you touch your toes, I'll wave at mine. <laughs> oh, I think I've had it, Betty. Yeah, oh. yeah, me too. I got this pain across oh. my stomach. Hey, can you sprain fat? <laughs> no, honey, you ever seen a pig wear a truss? <laughs> well, I guess we've done enough for one night. Oh, thank God I can't move. Oh, guys, uh, look, I made some refreshments in the kitchen. I'll get them. <laughs> you want to see them do some real jumping jacks? Uh huh. Let's tie some pork chops to the ceiling. <laughs> Dad, you're going to love this movie. I know I'm going to hate it. What's it called? E.T. Well, for five bucks, I expect a movie to have a full name, not just initials. <laughs> Dad, it's the same guy who made Raiders of the Lost Ark. You loved that movie. Well, sure. Who wouldn't love a movie where a room full of Nazis get their faces melted off? <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. Hiya, Chief. Hey. Girls. How are you, Chief? Late for a movie, Amy. Come on, let's go before they run out of raisinets. Raisinets? Uh, here's a dollar. Could you get me a box? Uh, you better make that two. Oh, three. No, wait. I'll write a check. Never mind. It's on me. See you later, Nell. Bye, Chief. I feel hi, Amy. Hi. Is uh, Dr. Avery here? Oh, not yet. Good. Because when he gets here, I want him to autograph my copy of... Half the man I used to be. <laughs> well, half a man's better than no man at all. <laughs> that depends on the half you get. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh, that must be him. Oh, everybody, he's here. Oh, all right. Now, let's give a really warm welcome to the man who's an inspiration to us all. Noted author, diet expert, and former fatty, Dr. George Skin and Bones Avery. <laughs> My God, he must have gained it all back. You mean he gained it all front? <laughs> Dr. Avery? That's right. And thank y'all for that warm welcome. That man lost 180 pounds? Maybe he's hollow. <laughs> Everybody, sit down. Now, uh, now we'll hear the lecture of our distinguished speaker and founder, Dr. George Blubbery. Oh, Avery. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, please. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I am the founder of People Organized to Reduce and Kick Obesity, better known as Porco. Yay! Remember, every one of you can look just like me. A lean, mean sex machine. I hope he doesn't lean his machine on me. Today, there are thousands of club members. But the very first meeting consisted of three people getting together in my living room. Now three people can get together in their shorts. <laughs> but thanks to the club program, 
I'm now master of my own fat. <laughs> fate, fate, fate. <laughs> Something got on these, uh, these cards, a little... What is that? <laughs> Chocolate mousse. <laughs> Well, well, that, uh, I think that about concludes my lecture, and I'll just say, good night. Dr. Dr. Avery, can I ask you a question? Well, sure, little lady. What happened to you? I, I thought you lost 180 pounds. Well, I did, but, uh, <laughs> I found it again. <laughs> Look, uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, uh, uh, Dr. Avery, it's... It's not that you dis you know, you disappointed us. It's just that, well, you were our inspiration. We actually wanted to look like you. And now you do. <laughs> but maybe I should have warned you. I, I just wanted to come by and wish all of you good luck. But what happened? I guess you could say I fell off the wagon. And into an ice cream truck. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> I bet he will. I bet he's got a memory like an elephant. And a body to match. <laughs> well, listen, uh, you people keep up the good work, and it's nice to meet you. Hey, you're not leaving. Yeah, I, I, I've had a few laughs here, but I really have to be running along. Oh, come on, Doctor. Why don't you sit down? We can talk. You can have some refreshments. Yeah, why don't you go out on the lawn and graze for a while? <laughs> Maybe some other time. Uh, thanks for everything. I gotta go. Yeah, his forklift's probably double parked. <laughs> Chocolate mousse! <laughs> you know, he, he really did sound all shook up. I mean, he sounded like he had a lump in his throat. And every place else. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Kramer. You really are disgusting. Oh, come on, now. He let us down. Oh, well, excuse me. I forgot. You are perfect, aren't you? None of you have ever slipped on your diets, have you? All two and a half tons of you. <laughs> Betty, would you please go on with the meeting? Thank you. Uh, now. As you recall, at our last meeting, I told you how to make a delicious no-cow pizza. Well, tonight, I've got a fabulous dessert to go with it. I call it double devil chocolate fantasy cake. Oh, I don't know which is God's greatest achievement, sex or chocolate. <laughs> I get to lick the plate. Uh, uh, you get your own plate. This one's mine. Oh, get your fork out of my wrist. Oh. I brought my own fork. I wear it on a chain around my neck. Now, can you eat that cake without <clears throat> grunting? <laughs> This white stuff's really delicious. That's the plate, Yatso. <laughs> the best part about the whole thing is it's practically zero calories. Why, it's made up of nothing but carob, dried egg whites, bran, saccharin, and unbleached gluten flour. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little dry. <laughs> but it certainly is uh, edible, very edible. Truly. Edible. Uh, yeah, it tastes like frosted sawdust, but real good frosted sawdust. It stinks. If I were on a desert island with just this cake, I'd eat a rock. Excuse me. Hello? Hey, gang, it's the doctor. Hi, we were just talking. Oh, that... He says he's very sorry he gained all that weight and let us down. Oh, oh isn't that nice? Yes? Uh-huh, and he said his hotel room is on the 13th floor. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. 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 And he says that he will never, ever let anyone else down in this lifetime. Doctor, what the hell do you mean by that? <laughs> yeah. Hello? Hello? I think he's gonna jump from his hotel window. What? He can't jump from the 13th floor. 
That's bad luck. Let's go. <laughs> It must be the all-you-can-eat special upstairs. <laughs> Kramer, please stop crowding me. Crowding you? I barely got room to breathe. Well, stop breathing. <laughs> I hope George doesn't do anything foolish. Yeah, like getting on an elevator with a bunch of fatsos. <laughs> standing on my foot. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It might be me. Does this hurt? Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm sorry, Bill. <laughs> Why is this elevator taking so long? Maybe it's afraid of heights, Amy. <laughs> uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. We're slowing down. And... Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Do I hear eleven and a half? I think we've stopped. <laughs> no, <laughs> we, we can't be stopped. When an elevator stops, the doors open and people come out and new people come in. <laughs> that didn't happen. Wait a minute. Did anybody bother to read that sign at that bed? What does that sign say? What does it say? Uh, maximum capacity, not to exceed. <laughs> <laughs> but that's impossible. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, yeah, honey, we exceed that by at least a half ton. <laughs> Bill exceeds that by half a ton. <laughs> What's that mean? It means we just gave this elevator a hernia. <laughs> but we've got to save George. <laughs> that alarm is still stuck. I don't like that. First thing to do is not to panic. I don't like this. Shut I don't up, like this. Amy. Oh. She was panicking. Why'd you slap me? I can't reach her. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. We gotta find out what happened. Maybe now push the wrong button. <laughs> ah. <laughs> did you see a button to say stuck? Well, shut up. <laughs> this club. I want my membership dues back right now. Oh, cram it, Kramer. Okay, please, guys, you don't, don't panic now. These things are, oh, they just loaded with safety devices. <laughs> Edna, please tell me that was your girdle that just popped. Oh, poor George. How can I live knowing that he died because we were too fat? Well, if I'm going... It's not gonna be with a taste of cottage cheese in my mouth. <laughs> Shame on you. Hugging that all to yourself. <laughs> We got to save George. Well, that's brilliant. How do you suggest we do that? Well, we can try the alarm again. Mm -hmm. Or we can try these doors again. Or we can try to use that phone there. 
There's got to be a phone. Of course, all elevators have phones. Get the phone, Kramer. Oh. There's a dial phone. Ooh. Thank God, now we can save George. Uh, room service? Yeah, listen, are your malteds thick or thin? <laughs> you to stick this where the phone don't ring. <laughs> oh, what are we going to do now? Wait a minute! There's a door in the ceiling! Wait, I wonder where it goes. I don't know. Would an elevator have an attic? <laughs> oh, George, it's so good to see your brain is home from the cleaners. <laughs> Let's see. I know it sounds dangerous. Well, maybe if one of us could climb up, that we can go for heaven. Yeah, you ought to do that, Mel. Uh-uh. Now, for George. George who? Mel, please. Okay. Pin it! <laughs> I feel bend over and drop to your hands and knees. Ask somebody else now. Every time I bend over, all the fat rushes to my head. <laughs> well, then just drop to your knees. Okay. Oh. Now look, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna climb on your shoulders. Where is Phil? Phil! Phil! I'll kill it. Phil! I found the candy bar! <laughs> It's in my stomach. It was delicious. Let's stop that sucker! Stop it! Stop it! Let's be calm. Get me through this hole up here, okay, guys? Okay. You gotta boost it in. Okay. Uh, One, two, three. Uh, oh. No touching in foul territory. <laughs> worth a try. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? We plunge to the bottom, where we all die in a horrible, twisted mass of metal and flesh. Shut up, Kramer! <laughs> Actually, I'm starting to like this place. It kind of grows on you. <laughs> I'll stuff it, Amy. Okay, no matter, hold on. Hold on tight. You ready? Yeah. I'm gonna push the lobby. Here we go. Oh. 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 
Well, we made it. Come on, give me a hand with the door. We made it. We're out. We Thirteen floors. Oh, God, I hate to say it, but feet don't fail me now. Who's there? It's the maid. You want to clean something up? Meet me on the sidewalk. <laughs> Right there, take one more step and I'll jump. George, at least let me call a priest. I'm Jewish. <laughs> then I'll call a delicatessen. <laughs> now, George. Stay back or I'll jump. I mean it. Okay, here I move. It's a good thing for you. I'm in such good physical shape. <laughs> what you trying to make funny now? Look, don't you realize you're going to cause more problems than you solve if you jump off that balcony? Yeah, she's right. Think of the poor guy who will have to clean you up off the sidewalk. <laughs> I'll aim for a garbage truck. You know, George, we all understand what you're going through. No, you don't. Oh, yes, we do. You do? Yeah. Get into the bathtub and there's no room for the water. <laughs> You're going down for the third time and the lifeguard throws you a harpoon? <laughs> yeah, you go into a restaurant alone and the waiter says, table for two? <laughs> so, George, we all understand what you're going through. That's why we joined your organization. Yeah, but I let all of you down. I let myself down. George, can't you see all the good you've done? I mean, can't you see that? I can't even see my shoes. <laughs> We're all better off because of you, George. You know, George, the point is, you lost that weight. Yeah, but tomorrow when I wake up, I'm still going to be fat. We all are. Yeah. But at least there'll be a tomorrow. <laughs> Not if we don't get out this balcony quick. What you talking about, man? We almost went on a permanent crash diet. Oh, I guess I've been so scared in my whole life. Our being fat almost killed us. Well, I'll tell you one thing. That's not going to happen to me again. Yeah, me either. Yeah, that's right. I lost this weight before and I can do it again. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. We don't have to be fat if we don't want to. I tell you what. We can go on a diet, we can exercise, and we can lose this weight. You bet we can. And we can start tomorrow. Like hell. You're going to start right now. We're all going to lose two pounds a week. Get over there, Dr. Avery. We're going to do some jumping jacks. Go. One, two, one, two, one. Your feet would work better if you moved them off the ground. Can you get it? <laughs> 